Hello, 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 and congratulations on making it to the big Texas rally. You got to love Texas because you guys just brag about everything being big, big, big. You know, a lot of people would uh, would say that they wanted to be there. They intended to be there. They hope that they could be there. They wish they want. And uh, a lot, many of them have, of course, things that are very legitimate that they absolutely could not be there. But the truth is, Everything in life is inconvenient, and you made some kind of sacrifice in order to make it happen, and uh, you're there. So it's very obvious that recovery is first and foremost in your life, and you're hungry to, uh, to change your lives and to, and to change other people's lives as well. My name is Rob Hanley, and I'm the editor-in-chief of Recovery Today magazine, and my great friend, uh, one of our contributors to the magazine, a, a Texas girl, Jen Sugarmeyer, invited me to do a short little video and to talk about uh, my thoughts on recovery. Well, first of, first of all, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I haven't written any best-selling uh, books or anything like that. But Recovery Today magazine is the number one addiction, sobriety, and recovery magazine that's out there today. And myself and, uh, and our whole team have really had the opportunity to, to interview and to feature some of the most amazing people in recovery that are out there today. And by the way, I have also 27 years of sobriety and I'm blessed to have a great wife of 23 years and great kids and all of the things that we kind of talk about overall in recovery. So I am a little bit qualified to give my thoughts and opinions on what this is because I do think about these things quite a bit. In fact, in the very last issue, it's very strange when Jennifer had asked me, I'd already written this as part of my letter from the editor. And so really what my, my thoughts on, on, on recovery is, is I think it's not a second chance. I don't even think it's a third chance. I think it's maybe a fourth chance or a fifth chance or a sixth chance, or it doesn't matter how many chances. It's like the child that actually falls down and gets up and falls down and gets up and falls down and gets up. How many times does it take you to get it right in recovery? As many times as it takes, but it's critical that you stay alive because you can't have another chance if you're not walking. So we want to do this and infect as many people with this philosophy as possible. And hopefully if you do it one time, great. If it takes you a couple of times, it's not a problem. But I see, I see recovery really as redemption. I see it as restoration. I see it even spiritually as resurrection. Uh, these are some of the thoughts that immediately come to my mind when I'm thinking about what it is that I like about recovery, what it means overall to me. One of the things I tell everybody that I have the opportunity to speak with at Recovery Today in our interviews is I love that it's authenticity. It's the cornerstone. It's transparency. It's you knowing other people authentically, them coming clean, you know, no pun intended about the nitty gritty of what their story was and being real overall with people. What I love about recovery is I love the reality, the authenticity and being accepted and accepting ourselves. Really, that's where it all starts. And then we can start to figure out what was it that made us, you know, uh, into addicts in the first place? What was it that made us not okay that we felt like we needed something else in order to feel just okay in our own skin? Lastly, and probably most importantly, as we define from the very beginning, Recovery Today as a magazine of hope. And it was something that was very intentional because when the magazine was born, it really kind of came out as a, out of a dark spot in my life. And I thought to myself, even before discipline, even before making a plan, even before setting goals or anything like that at all, you got to first think that it's possible. You got to have hope or at least some, some burning ember of a belief that your life might be better if you if this happened or if you could do this or if you could do that. So through the stories that we tell at Recovery Today, stories of hope, other people coming from their darkness, it, it, it inspires you in order to take another step in your life. And, and so this is really the cornerstone of what Recovery Today magazine is. And it's the thing that I like the most. We, uh, I'd said long ago, if we could just help one person to be sober for one more day, we would feel like we've done something important and valuable and we have, but really it goes way beyond that. I don't want to help one person. I want to move the needle. I want to make some kind of a change. I want to help thousands and thousands of people to change their lives and not just to stay sober. After they're sober, then what? 
what is it that you want to do with your life? We've got amazing contributors in our magazine that are now therapists, they're coaches, they're best-selling authors, they're treatment center owners. Uh, one of my good friends in the magazine is a phenomenal photographer. He's like the Ansel Adams, I call him, of recovery. My friend, Michael Blanchard, who at one time was a corporate chief operating officer in a healthcare company lost everything. And in his recovery, he thought, you know, I think I want to take pictures. And he's gifted by God. He's amazing at what he does. So I think of recovery really as an opportunity for us to pause and to say, what is it that's really important to me? What is it that I want to do? What did God make me to do that I can be helpful and of service to other people? And lastly, as I kind of close out, I think a lot about why are we here? And what I've come to realize and what my, my brother, my mentor in my life had told me once is he said, uh, the purpose of life is to give confidence to other people. And so through our trials that we go through, through the bad things, only from that perspective that we could say, yeah, I've been there and I've done that, or I was in a much worse situation, you can make it. And this being of service is really probably the deepest and best part, I think, of everything in recovery, but I just love all of it. So love all of you, respect all of you. Please pay it forward. Please be passionate about your lives. And that's all I got to say about recovery. So thanks so much, Jennifer. Appreciate you asking me to come out.